Kami Galia Police Rengkat Kesorkar Jela Berkaitan Social Welfare Kala Rakyat ke International Day Against Drug Abuse and Illicit Trafficking Haka Arpun Rio Tarik Ujiliu Arhajar Arpulai Kabala Long Ha Usu Sotham Auditorium Shilong Haka Nika Sengi Lawan Yashim Bantaru Menteri Rangba Ke Jela Ukon Rakyat Sangma Ubala Long Kongsan Usumbur Menteri Ke Jela Ubala Preston Tensong U Director General of Police U Dr. L. R. Bishnoi Ki Opisar Ki Hek Pulet Ki Rangba Shnong Ki Kena Skol Lubat Ki Wai Ki Wai Haba ajin keren hak ini kesini, ukon rakyat sangma ulah ongba, katong juga sorkar kalau ongba kami galia kan lain na udrak, rengkat kajinya terilang, jong iway pa iway inong song song jong kajela. United Nations General Assembly resolutions 26 June is celebrated as an international day against drug abuse and illicit trafficking. The UN General Assembly long back in 1987, they have decided to observe this day by keeping the grave drug scenario throughout the world. 26 June is fixed because on this day, the Commissioner of China Lin Jexu, he dismantled the godowns and stores of the opium and the tons of opium were destroyed. So just to honor his commitment, the UN General Assembly adopted that 26 June will be celebrated. The objective, as it is evident from the slides, the main objective is to create an international society free from the drug abuse. As on today, there are 195 countries in the world. And out of 195 countries, you, we can say only Vatican City is the only country which is free from drug abuse, and rest all countries are in the serious grips of drugs. So this is not a local problem, this is not a national problem, but it is a global problem. So this year, the theme is decided by UNODC that is United Nations Office on Drug and Crime. Every year they release a specific theme by keeping the changing dimensions of drug scenario globally. So this year the theme is People First, Stops, Stop Stigma and Discrimination and Strengthen Prevention. So we should not stigmatize and discriminate people or drug abusers and their family. We should adopt the empathy and sympathetic approach towards the drug abuser. So there are five aims I have highlighted in the slides, basically to create massive awareness throughout the world so that the masses should be aware about the ill effects of the drug abuse. Secondly, about the awareness about the AIDS, hepatitis, and strengthen the prevention programs. And third is promote evidence-based voluntary services, not on the generalized base, but evidence-based by using the technology. And then we have to empower the youth, and then secondly, the educate about the drug abuse, available treatment, and preventive intervention. So this is the aim in next cell decided by the UNODC for this year.